In this lecture, we will learn how to install the Cursor AI Code Editor on Mac. If you are on Windows or Linux, you can follow similar steps. Just note that I am on a Mac specifically. Join me at cursor.com where you can download the code editor for free. So it will show up in your downloads folder on your computer, the cursor installer. Then you can double click on the installer to unzip the file. You can also right click here and open. And so this will give you the install cursor app, which you can then double click on or right click and select open. You'll get a warning that it is an app downloaded from the internet. So you want to allow to open. And this will give us cursor in this case, version 0.40.4. That's going to download the cursor app, which is a code editor. Perfect. So here we now have the application added. We can create a new file with file, new text file, or keyboard shortcut, command N. Then we can use the recommended keyboard shortcut like command K or whatever you see recommended here, like control K to generate code. Here I can enter new code instructions such as build a simple hello world Python project. And here we get a line created, which we can accept or reject or add follow up instructions. So I'm just going to accept. Then we want to save the file so we can go to file save or use the keyboard shortcut. Then we can choose a location and name for our file and use the Python file extension. So the dot pi. Now in cursor, you can also view extensions and what you can do is you can add the Python extension as well. You can go to view extensions and you can see that I already have the Python extension here, MS Python, but you can easily install this extension with the click of a button. This is the Python extension for Visual Studio, and it also works on cursor. Once you have Python extension, you get things like the syntax highlighting. Then you can toggle closed any extensions. And to run the file, instead of pressing the run button, the best way to run a Python file is through a virtual environment. For this to work, you must have Python installed on your computer. Then you can open a new terminal here in cursor, or you can view an existing terminal that you previously created. I'm going to create a new terminal and then start a virtual environment here in my cursor terminal. Here in my terminal, I will start a new virtual environment with Python or Python 3, accessing the ENV and creating a new folder like my ENV. Then if you are on Windows, you're going to activate the environment with my ENV backslash scripts backslash activate. But if you are on Mac or Linux, you're going to use source my ENV slash bin slash activate. We see now our location is in the virtual environment. We can then run the file or install any required packages. If you run the file, it will also just immediately tell you if you are missing any installations. So what we have to do is we have to run the file with Python or Python 3, whatever you have Python saved as on your computer. And then you have to pass in the path to your file. So here you go to your file in the file explorer and you copy the file path. You can do this with the click of a button on windows. If you're on Mac, you can right click, hold the alt key and select copy 
file as path name. Then you're going to pass that path in quotation marks. Quotation marks are only required if there is a space in your path. So in this case, you see, I don't have any spaces in my path. So I could actually skip the quotation marks in this case, but usually your path will have some spaces in it. We see that when we press enter to execute the command in the virtual environment, we get hello world printed out, which is the result of running the file. So that is how we can create a file in cursor. You can also ask questions about the file here. If you're editing code, you'll get recommended these keyboard shortcuts such as command L and command K on Mac to chat or to generate code. So I can use command K and add new code instructions like generate more and press enter. Then it's going to add more code here. I can press command L to chat about the entire file, like what is happening in the file. And you'll get a response from the large language model that is selected. And the model is aware of the context of the file. So it tells you what is happening in the file. You can also edit code, like instead of printing goodbye, you could edit with the keyboard shortcut that is recommended, such as Command K. You can say to print something else instead of printing goodbye. And look at that, we can accept the changes. So the previous line is removed and the new line is added. So that is how we can interact with a large language model through cursor. Thanks for watching this video on how to install the cursor AI code editor on your computer. And we also saw a simple demo of how to run a file such as a Python file here in cursor. Remember that for this run to work, you must have Python installed on your computer as well. You can download Python for Mac, Windows or Linux here at python.org where you can download the latest version of Python.